A lacrosse man remains hospitalized after falling 40 feet on Friday near Grandad Bluff. News 8 Now's Emily Haugen joins us in the studio with what it takes to make one of those rescues and how to stay safe when you're hiking. Lacrosse is home to more than 50 miles of natural surface trails. Most of them are located on the Blufflands, but with trail hiking comes risks. Anywhere between six to ten times a year we might end up on the bluff, um, some more serious than others. That's how many times the La Crosse Fire Department gets called to assist with a bluff fall every year. It's a low frequency, high risk thing. Still, a rescue involving a fall requires manpower. That gives us, I believe, six apparatus and roughly 15 personnel. Preparation. There is a lot of training that goes into it and it's a specialized thing. And time. So then you have to locate them, you treat them, you package them, like I said, then you bring them off the bluff. After a bluff fall last week, crews spent two hours at the scene. But many of these falls are avoidable. A lot of times it's when people are, are in areas where they, they shouldn't be. La Crosse's outdoor recreation coordinator, Leah Miller, says hiking on city-maintained trails is safe. These trails are built in a manner to keep you safe and take you to safe locations. Miller recommends hiking with a buddy. Proper footwear, um, or even walking sticks if you're looking to pursue maybe a more difficult trail. Keeping track of trail markings. If you're not sure if it's a trail or not, um, if there's not a sign there, it's probably not a trail. And watching the sky. Make sure that you're traveling outdoors during the daylight hours. Um, so pay attention to when the sun is rising and when it's setting. And if you do run into trouble, you can always call for help. If you're planning on going for a hike, Miller also recommends downing, downloading the Avenza app. It's GPS connected. It, it can help you find your way on the trails. Amy and Ken. All right. Thank you, Emily. If you'd like to help the family of the man who fell off the bluff, there is a GoFundMe. We're going to post that link at news8000.com.